So I had a comment recently, a, a question, well, a question on one of my uh, martial arts, karate, whatever videos, asking me about like forward conditioning and stuff, and I sort of <clears throat> gave a bit of an unanswer really. And then anyway, I got another question about it, so I figured I should do some sort of video about it. But but I'm a, I'm, I'm really no expert, and I'm a, but I'm a, I don't know, I'm a bit out and I'll undecided about the whole thing really. Do I do it? Yes I do. I do do some conditioning on my head. I've done some some breaks using my forehead. Uh, I'll put a link in. Uh, one was a, it was a brick but not like a house brick. There's no way I could do one of those. It was like one of those sort of cinder block type things but in a the brick, just brick size. Uh, I broke that. I was wearing a hat. It was in winter. It was over, well over a year ago now. It was still cold and I had a hat on. And I wish I'd done the break and I wish I'd taken the hat off to show that I didn't have like this, you know, a thin sheet of steel or something stitched into it. But uh, because, um, yeah, it, it, it did take some doing and it, and it hurt. That's the thing. Um, and yeah, I did a, oh, I'll put the links in. Another one was a, a strip of marble. So I mean, I do go to the, the Bruce Lee thing, you know, train, well, he said train every part of your body, but I sort of paraphrase, paraphrase that as condition every part of your body. So yeah, do that, and um, so I've done a few breaks, but from what I see of it, I mean, first of all, how do I condition? Well, people say how do you condition? Well, at the bottom line is anything, if you, you know, if you strike it hard enough, but not too hard, you know, the, the bone's gonna, over time, it's gonna thicken, become more solid, whatever. I think, I think lots of, you get micro fractures and they heal up thicker. I mean, that's how you get bone density, and it's the same you're doing conditioning you know, where you hit your forearms or any part of your body um, other than the groin because I don't go that that far. But I mean, you could just use your hand, use a palm heel strikes, you know. It's the top part there, which seems to be the toughest part. You know, it's one they always drop in the movies when they're doing, you know, fisty cuffs in a movie to sort of protect their face. You've got the delicate bones here, so you drop down. Um, do that. Get a, a stole piece of wood. Oh God, oh, there's worms and stuff on it. I just picked this up off the ground now. It's whatever comes to hand with me, you know. That's what I like, as I say, I always, I always say my boring thing, which I go on and on about. It's just, you know, whatever you, you find to hand, you just use a wall or something. Um, now then, obviously this one, you, you if you if, if you want to do it, uh, I think I've got quite a thin skull. Um, I've done some conditioning, so maybe it's had some effect. It's, I've seen some videos of some people they're just lightly tapping with it, like their fingers or something. I mean, I probably don't have to say, but that's not going to do anything. I mean, there should be some impact going there, and over time, it develops you know, the conditioning. Um, but I haven't seen an awful lot of breaks which really like. I'm not saying uh, whatever. I'm, I'm the, the judge, but I haven't seen a lot of breaks that like super impress me on forward breaks or. They always do this one, the Shaolin seem to do it, is like getting a, a thin strip of metal. And I, they, they always like hold it with both hands and they jump into it. They make a real, it's all normally on stage and they do the exhibitions and stuff. Right? And it's it's thin strip of metal I and mean, it's, pig, it's pig iron. It breaks, you can hear it pinging. Proper metal doesn't ping, it, it bends. You see proper like, I've seen this video, guys, they're, they're breaking a steel, uh, they're hitting a steel spanner so it, it bends, the handle of it breaks and you see how proper metal actually bends. So, I mean, that's just, in my humble opinion, that's just a con, you know, and they, a thin strip of metal and it, it pings, it breaks off like that. Um, and similarly, tiles, seen a lot, uh, seen a few breaks, you know, people, uh, suddenly the tiles are set up like, you know, just strike down like, like you would with your hand, but they do it with their head. Uh, for those who haven't tried it, once you, um, I've done a few tiles, but I just haven't videoed it. And, they're not hard at all. Tiles generally are not hard, especially when they're spaced. You know, they're, on, they're, on, they're naturally spaced because they're curved. Uh, in Japan, they call them kawara tiles. And uh, or kawara is Japanese for tile. And they are they are absolutely really easy to break. I mean, there's a viral video of, they say Kyokushin Karate, a young woman, it probably helps that she's quite attractive. But she does one tile and the audience just erupts like she's just broken two tons of concrete or something. I mean, a child could do them, really, if they hit them hard enough. And similarly, with, uh, with the head, once you get over the natural disinclination to strike something, if you're forehead, because it's, you know, could be painful, 
especially if you put a towel there to even protect it from any scratches or anything. Uh, I'm crawling bugs. Uh, it, it will just break. I mean, it's, they're just really easy to break. So that doesn't really, it's not really doing much. But yeah, I, I also bottom line is like Bruce Lee thing with me is like condition where I say paraphrase what he said was condition every part of your body or train every part of your body, which I say condition. So I, I do it just, and you know, you can heal your arm, go heal, heal, palm heal, you know, uh, or get something to strike it with or something. But just, you know, just really, really slow and steady as always. Really just use your common sense. Don't do it so it hurts. Um, now there's a thing with sumo here that uh, some of the sumo, because they commonly clash heads when they, they go for each other. I mean, I'm in Japan, so I like watching TV and you see, and sometimes you hear the crack, it, oh, God, it's sickening, you know. So these guys, they're getting the Muhammad Ali thing. They're, they're getting um, you know shakes and they can't remember anything and really slow and unsteady as they get older because they've had brain trauma. So, but then again, probably people aren't going to be doing, you know, sumo. Just, yeah, do it. You know, slow and slow and steady, and then and so I put the links into the, the few breaks I've done with my forehead. But uh, I think I've, that's, that's all I was gonna. That's all I want to say about that. I think I just figure I should say it after the grand total of two, or maybe even three questions about whether I do it or not. Right, cheers.